Hello and welcome to another episode of All Code Sucks. This one hits a little too close to home because it's in a library that I maintain. Um, but we're going to be talking about the match argument to PyTest raises and also assert rages regex if you're using the legacy unit test stuff and why I never use the match argument. Uh, so let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example from Talks today. Uh, if you're not familiar with Talks, it's a workflow thing. Uh, basically like Python make file sort of dealio. Um, and we're going to be copying a particular file out of talks and a particular test out of talks to demonstrate the problem that I'm talking about here. Uh, so first let's get source uh, talks util graph. Look at this graph. Uh, and then we're going to uh, copy the test for that. Talks test util graph. Is it test graph? It's test graph. Oh, I don't. I don't like that naming. <laughs> I like graph test. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I didn't write this. <laughs> Copy them. Um, and we're going to adjust the imports just so that we get this. And I'm going to use this one particular test down here, which is the, where's the cycle test? Somewhere in here. Not that one. That's the complicated one. Well, that one will also work. I'll use this one. Uh, oh, there's a, no, it's up here. Here we go. Test topological order cycle, which uses pytest.match, uh, pytest.raises with match. And my my uh, <laughs> my point about this is that it is way too easy to accidentally write a test that always passes. Now, this case doesn't always pass, but it definitely doesn't do what the author intended. So what uh, pytest raises with match or assert rages regex does is it stringifies whatever exception you get, then compiles this as a regex, and then uses re.search against the result. Uh, re.search, if you're not familiar, there's re.match, which does from the beginning of the string, and then there's re.search, which finds anywhere in the string. And since this is a regular expression, uh, this literal pipe character here, which they intended to match the entire string, uh, is actually treated as or, so either A space or space B can be anywhere in this. Uh, if we set up a virtual end, we'll see that this test passes, and it should pass, the code is actually correct. Uh, pip install pytest, and if we do pytest graph test, you'll see, oh, where dict is deprecated, or no longer needed because we could just use three six plus dicts. Okay, anyway, uh, if we run this, uh, <laughs> ah. And we import pytest, of course. Let me make sure the linter is okay here. Okay, good. Uh, if we run this, we'll see that it passes. However, we went to go to our our graph file here and find our value error that gets raised here. Somewhere in here, not that one, this one. And uh, change this to a cycle was detected which is completely wrong. This is not, this is what the original error message was intended to be. Uh, but you'll notice that our test still passes. And that's because this uh, regular expression inside our graph test here uh, is over, overly zealous. Now, if you wanna stick to match, what I recommend doing is putting a caret and a dollar sign on every single pattern you're using and either escaping these characters manually or you know, using re.escape to get those values here. So now if we had done this instead, you'll see that our test is passing because we have written now a correct regular expression. But again, I argue that writing a re correct regular expression is also kind of difficult. Uh, so what I recommend instead is to not use the match keyword, just ban it outright entirely and assign out the exception info object. This will have a little bit of info about the exception that was caught here. And then you can write assertions against that. So you can, for instance, grab the message from the exception info, uh, either by doing message equals exception dot value or message equals stir exception info dot value. Those are two different ways to get the exception. This will get the stringified version. This will, oh, this is supposed to be args. Uh, this will pull it out of the actual exception argument itself. Uh, I like the first one, but this one is a little bit more universally useful. And then you can write a normal assertion against the message here. So. If we had done this, uh, my buggy change to the, the graph code wouldn't have broken this. So if you can see, 
we do that now, we'll get a nice little error message here. Now, sometimes you might want to actually use regular expressions here. And for that, what I would recommend is to use an actual either re.match call or use a library such as reassert, which I know says uh, <laughs> shameless self-promotion. I wrote this library, but I think it's very, very useful in, um, in checking failures here. So if we go to graph test now, this, and we import reassert, uh, we can say uh, reassert.matches. And if we had written out a pipe B uh, and we had done assert match message, I think this will actually pass two because of the, uh, is it supposed to be a full match? I forget. Uh, oh, assert matches. Yeah, I know how to use my own library. <laughs> yeah, so this will also pass. But again, like I would recommend to always put a carrot and a dollar sign on your regular expression. This will also pass two because of the pipe character. Uh, <laughs> if we had put this in parentheses, then uh, we would get a nice failure message pointing us at the first character where the regular expression failed. But again, this is a simple case. I would just do an equality check rather than uh, pulling out a library to, to do this for you. Um, but anyway, that's why I banned the match uh, argument. There's also another quirk to match, which is also pretty funny. If you were to accidentally pass match equals empty string, maybe you were trying to say this exception has no message or something. <laughs> this will always succeed. Match equals empty string. Uh, re search on the empty string will always match. And there's a regular expression that matches everything. So yeah, look out for look out for this as well. Uh, but anyway, my advice is don't use the match argument and escape your regular expressions. Use full match or re asserts or escape escape stuff or just use equality. Equality often works better anyway. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you found this useful and. Join us next time for more code that sucks. That doesn't work.